Welcome to the Wellness Arts Cafe, Creatively Being with Patricia Coleman. I will list all of the ingredients, as you can see, they're very few, at the end of this, um, at the end of this little film. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to create a sourdough starter or make your own yeast. I'm tearing my jar here. Tear means I have put my jar on the scale and then I brought it to zero so that I will only have the weight of my, my flour. I'm using whole grain kamut um, that's locally sourced and brown rice flour and, and a little bit of rye and these are things that I use. You can use the 53 grams or 54 grams or whatever a quantity you decide to start with of flour and it could be whatever you choose whether it's a flour that has gluten or is gluten free. And then next to my flour I am adding my lukewarm water and it is the same weight it is also 53 grams or I forget how many tablespoons that that measures out to but I will list it in the description Now I'm giving them just a good stir here. We add the molasses to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of sweetener to feed on. And as you see, there's some. Well, maybe you can't see, but to, in the background, I've got some honey um, because I considered using that, but instead I went with the molasses. And um, some people use sugar. I have not started one with sugar, but I'm sure that it will work as, um, and one thing, if you are using whole grains, you will find that the amount of rye you get comparatively, um, compared to the, if you're using the white um, flowers, is not going to be as great. And there it is. Just like that. Um, my sourdough starter has, it's ready to go.